Hey everyone. Welcome back to my another Alight Motion tutorial. Today we are going to create this glowing logo animation. This is my first voiceover video in my channel. I hope you will like it. Let's get started. Open the Light Motion app. Then click on plus icon. Select aspect ratio 16 is to 9. Set resolution to 1080p. Change frame rate to 30fps. Then click on create project. First we will import our logo. To import our logo. Click on plus icon. Then select image and video option. And add your logo. Now we will change our logo size. Go to move and transform. Click on size option. Then decrease size value. You can decrease size value according to your logo. Now go back. And rename layer to logo layer. Then go back. And increase layer duration to 6 seconds. Now we will change our logo color. To change logo color. Go to effects. Then click on add effect. And add solid color. Then change color to white. After that go back. Now we will animate our logo. Click on add effect. And add wipe effect. After that scroll down. Then select angle. And change its value to 225. Also you can change value according to your choice. Then select feather. And change its value to 40. Now select start. And add two keyframes. Add first keyframe at beginning of the animation. Then add second keyframe at 4 seconds. Move to first keyframe. And increase start value, until your logo get disappear. After that preview your animation. It's looking good. Then go back. Now we will make a duplicate layer. Select logo layer. Click on layer option. Then click on duplicate layer. After that hide duplicate layer. Click on eye icon to hide layer. Now select logo layer. Go to effects. Click on solid color. And change logo color to black. Then go back. And add another effect called smooth bevel. After that change radius value to 12. And change diffuse and specular angle value to 0. Now select diffuse angle. Go to beginning of this animation and add keyframe. Then go to end of this animation and add another keyframe. And change diffuse angle value to 360. Now select specular angle. 
Go to beginning of this animation and add keyframe. Then go to end of this animation and add another keyframe. And change specular angle value to 360. You will get this effect in your animation. After that go back. And rename logo layer to animation layer. Then select animation layer. And make a duplicate layer. Now select first layer. Then go to effects. Click on add effect. And add directional blur. Then change strength value to 0 0.40. After that select angle. Go to beginning of this animation and add keyframe. Then go to end of this animation and add another keyframe. Then change angle value to 360 degree. Then go back. and add Gaussian Blur. Then change Strength value to 0 0.10. After that go back. Select second layer. Go to blending and opacity. And change its blending mode to screen. Now select both animation layers. And make a group. Then click on right side and drag down group layer. After that unhide logo layer. Then move logo layer to 1.25 seconds. Then preview your logo animation. It's looking perfect. At 6 seconds trim the extra part from the logo layer. Now select group layer. Go to around 3 seconds. Then go to blending and opacity. And add keyframe. Then add another keyframe, at 6 seconds. And change opacity to 0. Now select both layers. And again make a group. Now select group layer. Go to move and transform. Click on size option. Then go to around 2 seconds. And add keyframe. Then go to beginning of this layer. And add another keyframe. Then increase size around to 2000. After that go back. Select group layer. And make a duplicate layer. Now select below group layer. Go to edit group. 
Again select below group layer. Then go to edit group. Now select below animation layer. And go to effects. Click on directional blur. And change strength value to 1. Then go back. Now click on Gaussian blur. And change strength value to 0.80. Then go back to your final composition. Now we will change animation color. Select below layer. Go to effects. And add color tune. Then click on lift. And drag center point to any color you want. But for this animation I will choose blue color. Then click on gamma. And drag center point to same color you choose before. Then click on offset. And drag center point to same color you choose before. Then go to around 4 seconds. Click on lift. And add keyframe. Then go to 6 seconds and add another keyframe. After that drag point to center. Like this. Now click on gamma. Go to 4 seconds and add keyframe. Then go 6 seconds and add another keyframe. And drag point to center. Now click on offset. And do the same thing. Then go back. And add another effect called saturation and vibrance. Set saturation value to 100%. and vibrance value to 1.20 after that go back click on color tune then click on three dots and copy effect then go back and select upper layer go to effects and paste it then go back and select below layer. Then go to effects. And copy saturation and vibrance effect. Then again go back. Select upper layer. Go to effects. And paste it. Then go to blending and opacity. And change blending mode to screen. And change opacity to 40%. Then go back. Now click on plus icon. Select image and video option. And add particle video. You can download this particle video from the link given in description. Then go to blending and opacity. And change blending mode to color doge. After that go back, and trim extra part of this video. Now select below layer. Go to move and transform. Click on size. Then click on curve. And make curve like this. Then click on three dots. And copy curve. Then go back. And select upper layer. Go to move and transform. Then click on size. Then click on curve. 
and paste it. Then go back. Now our animation is completed. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did make sure to like this video and subscribe my channel. And follow me on Instagram for more updates. I will see you guys in the next video till then take care. Peace out.